Like what is even, I'm filled with rage. Don't ruin my manicure. Yes. So it has been a hot minute since I've done a trying new makeup video. We've got Jones Road, we've got Persona, we've got Gen C, which is a new brand to a lot of people. I've also got About Face, like we've got the goods here today. Two products that I'm really, really excited to try for you on camera are the Jones Road Gel Bronzer, as well as the Persona Multi Stick in the shade Bloom. I have tried both of these, okay? So this is not like a true first impressions when it comes to these products, but what I I can tell you is spoiler alert, these are making me angry. They're so beautiful. I went ahead and already did my foundation and my concealer. So I'm wearing my Tower 28 Sunny Days foundation, which actually, guys, alert the media. I just used my last drop of the Tower 28 foundation. And my concealer is the Uma Stay Woke Concealer. And if you want to know anything more about what I'm applying to my face today, every single product I talk about and use is always linked in my description box. So I have not set my face yet. I wanted to wait to do that on camera and I'm using the Rare Beauty Loose Setting Powder and I'm just using a little bit smaller of a powder brush to go in and just kind of take care of any shine so I can be really intentional with this. Sometimes I don't like to do that. Sometimes I like to go in with a bigger brush like this Jones Road brush. Love this brush. But today I just don't want as much powder going on especially because we're going to be applying a gel bronzer and I'm not sure if I want to set my face with powder for that. So we're just being a little careful with the powder here. That's actually the perfect powder application right there. You see there's still dew, there's still glow, but I don't look like an oil slick. So I'm going to start out with that Jones Road gel bronzer. And like I said, I've used this, I believe once on camera before. So that is what the shade light looks like. That right there for light is pretty deep. I'm, I'm not being careful at all. Like, just wait, just watch. What I love about this product is how incredibly gorgeous and sheer it is. And look at how this blends out in like the blink of an eye. Like what's even going on? Is that not the most natural, beautiful bronzer application? It just gave me a little bit more sun kiss. Wow, I, I really am impressed with how messy I can be with this and how beautifully it blends out. It just does not even matter. Like I said, I kind of wanted to give it its moment in the sun because I just didn't really get to play with. I knew I loved it, but I didn't get to play with it as much as I wanted to. I've realized now that the reason this looks so deep but doesn't appear so deep on the skin is because it blends out so beautifully and it's just so nice and sheer. So I'm just quickly throwing on some brows. I'm using my Benefit Brow Gel. So I wanna try this on camera with you for the first time. I have been wanting to try this product for so long. This is the Kopari Rose Gold Sun Shield Body Glow SPF 45. Look at how gorgeous that is. I don't even have the body sauce on today, guys. I went body sauceless because I do have a little bit of just natural color on my own. And again, the fact that this is an SPF 45 and just looks so incredible. Look at that, what? And just like I thought, it smells like a dream. Just like a very, very slight, almost kind of, I don't know if it's a copper tone scent. It's just, oh, I love that. So it's really just a beautiful lightweight body gel that's packed with nourishing ingredients and also gives your skin this beautiful glimmer. Okay, now that we took a moment to really celebrate our décolleté, let's keep on going with the makeup. Gen C sent me their brand new liquid matte eyeshadows. The closest thing I probably have to these, which I know I love, are the About Face Matte Liquid Eyeshadows. So we're gonna see how these stack up. We're not gonna go with this today. I feel like this is maybe a shade I might try in the winter. I'm also a little scared that this is gonna make me look dead because it's so cool toned. I think I'm gonna go with the lightest, most boring shade. Big surprise, right? This is the shade Linen because I have something fun, like a fun topper to put over it. I just wanna see what this formula is like. Oh, wow. Oh my God, that is so butt tray. Um, this is literally like the perfect shade that matches my lids. Guys, this is what I've been looking for. It's just something that smooths my eye out for days where I just wanna have like a naked eye look and just no shadow whatsoever. This is it. Yes, yes, yes. 
This is exactly what I've been looking for. This in terms of texture feels even lighter than the About Face matte liquid eyeshadows. And it's perfect because I have like two little boop boop like blemishes on my lid. And so this is just gonna like kind of erase those. Like I know this is probably boring as hell to you guys, but I am so excited. And that's what the shade looks like on the back of my hand. You can actually see it a little bit better than on my lids. That's just like the perfect my lid, but better. Okay, Gen Z, so I'm gonna save these to try another time, but I'm really, really happy because I love this formula, so good to know. And also as a point of reference, um, if you guys saw my last couple of videos, you know that I tried the Rare Beauty eyeshadow sticks and I really was not a fan. They were just like the driest of the dry. They dried down faster than I think I've seen anything dry down. This is a testament to how dry those are because this is a matte liquid shadow and I feel like this is actually a lot more forgiving and a little bit more light and creamy than those Rare Beauty eyeshadow sticks. Okay, so I'm so excited. I'm about to try the About Face eyeshadow or the eye paint rather, and these are the sparkly ones. So this is in the shade Smolder. I'm gonna swatch that for you so you can see Smolder. Oh my God, look at how stunning that is. We're going glam because these definitely have glitter in them. Oh wow, it's so nice and subtle when it's blended out. This is kind of giving me RIP ColourPop because they are not pro-choice, but like ColourPop vibes. I mean, ColourPop made some of my favorite eyeshadows, honestly. Although I will say I'm going to put a little bit more concealer on this annoying eyelid blemish. Like, what is that about? And I didn't even like wear eyeshadow the last couple days. Like, what the hell? So I just finished putting on my mascara. This is nothing new, so. I didn't show you, but this is the Merit Clean Lash Mascara. Okay, so now we move on to the good stuff, okay? We're moving on to blush and lips, and this damn blush is killing me. This is the brand new shade of the Persona Blush Multi-Stick. It is in the shade Bloom. I have been wearing this non-stop. I'm gonna show you what the swatch looks like. So there's a big old swatch of the shade, just a pinky peachy situation, so balanced, so healthy. So I'm gonna take my Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Blush Brush and just tap into that product. I'm doing it gradually so you can just see how beautiful this builds. Look at that. For those who love Stockholm, which is uh, a shade of the Merit Flush Balm that is one of my favorite blush shades of all time, you're gonna love this as well. This is like Stockholm. It's just got a little bit more warmth to it, in my opinion, and just a little bit more pigment to it. Just like the most dewy, perfect ingenue cheeks. Barbie would love this color. Like what is even, I'm, filled with rage. That is just like, how? I just want to barter it. Okay, so moving on to lips and more Gen C. I'm really excited to try this brand because I will say I, I tried one of the metallic liquid eyeshadows quite some time ago. I didn't love the formula, but I really love this matte formula. And I also loved their mascara. So let's try another lip product from them. And this is their matte lipstick. It's called the Pick Me Up Lip. And they also sent me their Clean Sheen Lip Gloss. So I don't even know what shade this is. This is gonna be, it better go with my look. Oh my God, look at their fun packaging. I actually have never seen the packaging for their lipsticks. This is awesome. Also, hello, matches my nails. Okay, so that is the shade. And I think it's actually gonna work really well with the look I have going on right now. I think a nude is going to be perfect. And this is a kind of nude I can get behind because there's like a little bit of pink in there as well. Mm. And there again is what the shade looks like in the bullet and what it looks like after I buffed it out on my lips. This feels incredible, guys. Like this does not feel like a matte lip. This feels like a little bit creamier version of like the Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks, like a matte lipstick that basically just feels like a cream. I don't even think I told you what shade this is. This is called, well, 
the print is so damn small, I can't see. Yeah, this shade is called Margaret. And then I'm gonna open up their Clean Sheen Gloss, which I think is just a clear gloss. This is what the packaging looks like, super cute again. And yes, it is a clear gloss, just like I thought. So I'm going to apply this to my finger so I don't muddy the clarity. After applying the gloss to this lip shade, I have to say it's matching the cheek shade even more, don't you think? And this is a really lovely clear gloss. I mean, I can't really say anything is like blowing me away about it. I have several clear glosses I really like, but it's comfortable. It feels kind of like the Fenty clear gloss. It's not too sticky, which I cannot stand. I don't have a highlighter, but honestly, I don't feel like I need one because this is just dewy on its own. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. Honestly, everything I tried here today really blew my hair back with the exception of a couple things that I still really like, okay? These products are really nice. The clear lip gloss from Gen Z and the glitter shadow from About Face. They didn't do it for me as much as every other thing that I tried here today. This gel bronzer can have its way with me and every single time I apply it, I fall more and more in love with it. And I know this is gonna be a bold statement because you know I love the Merit Bronze Balm. I really do, but I think I like the Jones Road a little bit more. I think this just, this formula just blends out so gorgeously. And I feel like I do get a little bit more pigment, a little bit more bronziness with this. This is just perfection. Okay, but I have to cheer something. I mean, it's gonna have to be this. Persona Cream Blush Multi-Stick in Bloom, good job. And this is something I'm really excited to try in the other shades they sent me. And I hope they, I don't know how many shades they have in this, but I hope they have more because loving this formula. Also so, so impressed with this Gen C lip color. I love how it feels and I love the shade. As always, you guys are the best. Please stay safe out there and cheers till next time. Mm. Oh, yeah.